today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to take a look at a pedal. But before we get into that, we'd like to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel, clicking on the notification bell. Your interaction with us helps us interact with great people in the industry. And in this case, Keeley, Keeley Electronics. Uh, they were kind enough to help us out, and we got the entire four-in-one line from them. And tonight, we're going to be looking at the Angry Orange. And the Beard's going to break down what we're going to do, because there's a lot to it. Yeah, well, and it's interesting because this has shown up on a ton of episodes, I think. Yeah. Like, we've, we've pulled it out a bunch mm -hmm. of times. Um, so having the Angry Orange and the Noble Screamer and the Blues Disorder, Super, Super Road, and, right. you know, having all these around, we've been able to kind of use them and drop them in other videos when we're doing guitars and stuff like that. So seeing them a lot. But this is the individual episode on this. Uh, real quick feature breakdown. You have a tone. Drive, level, I'm sorry, not in the expected places, <laughs> but probably something to do with, you know, them being able to do the stuff that they did. Two switches. This is a switch under the tone pot goes from the Big Muff, which is a Civil War era Big Muff, down to the DS1 circuit. And then under the drive, you can go for the drive stack of the Big Muff Civil War era or the drive stack of the DS. DS1. If you press and hold this button for like 30 seconds, you can flip flop between or either buffered bypass or, or, true, bypass. or true bypass. Um, and that's about it. So essentially both switches up, got a Civil War Air Big Muff, both switches down, you have a DS1, mm -hmm. and then you can get some hybrid stuff. And we're gonna run through all that tonight. Uh, I think it makes sense for me to start. Yes, yeah, start with everything flipped up. So everything <laughs> flipped up is, Civil War era big muff. And I don't know, maybe I should have grabbed the Strat or something, but I, did. I grabbed the I Les Paul for that. Um, and it's huge. And I wanted to have something just kind of, I guess riffy may be the word yeah, for it. Right. I just wanted to have something. Well, here's what it sounds like. <laughs> So I took the toggles and flipped them down into the DS1 and the beard did mention a Strat. So I grabbed his uh, American Strat and I put it in the bridge and tried to play some uh, chunky chords. So maybe Green Day-ish, don't hold me to that, but uh, some <laughs> chunky stuff and then some big open chords and a couple little riffy things. And here it is. we like throw a couple jams in um and after i played my first riff and then my second riff uh that's coming later i kind of went back to where i was in that last riff i think there's a little bit adjustment to a couple of the to the knobs just a little bit from that first one and i think maybe i i pumped the delay on the echo tour from dls effects a little bit but stayed with the les paul tyler amp pat uh played behind me with uh yeah. Back me up. 
A newly acquired Silver Sky that made a brief appearance when it still had EMGs in it. I had uh, our friend uh, Skip, who blindfolded himself for the Les Paul thing. He uh, swapped it back out for me and put the originals in. I just played it straight through the PV Classic 30 with a little bit of reverb. <laughs> Before we get into the individual clips with the hybrid settings, we thought we'd just give you kind of an overview of what they sound like. Uh, and so essentially set the tone level and drive to noon. All right, so we're not really dialing it in. And then both on Big Muff, one of the hybrid sweat settings, the other hybrid setting, and then both on the, the, the DS1. And we'll show that on the screen. Uh, Pat, to demo that, what guitar did you grab? I grabbed the Yamaha Pacifica while we still have it. We did a little thing with HSS. I had it on the full humbucker mm -hmm. on the H, played a quick uh, chord pass as he manipulated the knobs and dials. <laughs> setting clip i was on the you know the the civil war big muff thing so i just pulled the tone down to the ds1 and then i wanted to change up the guitar a little bit and i grabbed this sg junior because any chance i get to grab the sg junior and play something loud i do um yeah sounds like this explore the other hybrid settings. So I had the uh, toggle switch for the tone on the muff selection and the drive on the DS section. And I grabbed the DGT SE that we uh, had Porter pickups put in and I played this. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's clips we have for tonight. Uh, before we uh, talk about final thoughts or anything, we always set up the final jam. Uh, if you want to see the final jam, you can always use the chapters below to jump right to that. If you want to skip the final thoughts, uh, what did you, I'll let you go first. Uh, well, I, I backed him up with his new PRS Silver Sky. Right. <laughs> to the PV. What did you do? Um, I grabbed my 95 uh, PRS uh, Standard 24 because we were remembering that we used this pedal one other time on something and we actually went to our own catalog and library and found it. And I played this guitar with uh, the star of the show with the exact same settings I just had with the, the muff uh, tone and the DS1 distortion and played this with the Echo Tour. It sounded, yeah. yeah it's very singing. It's very, we really liked yeah. it last time. Right. Uh, final thoughts? Well, the pedal. yes, right. We were uh, very grateful when we got these because as the beard mentioned, there's many of these in these boxes that we don't have. We don't have a rat. We don't have a DS1. We don't have a big muff. Um, we don't have a blues breaker. Uh, so uh, uh, kind of, yeah. Well, <laughs> kind of have blues yeah, breakers. Like that. Uh, so it's really cool when we can do this because we, we um, explore territories we've never been before. And it also influences kind of how we play. We, we try to think about the actual circuitry, not the circuitry of the diagram, but like who used these types of things? What type of music do you associate these with? So you can tell from our clips, it kind of took us down that path. And it sounds, it sounds really good. It doesn't take long to dial up very good things on here. And if you're not happy with what you first got, flip one of the toggles or <laughs> turn one of the knobs and you pretty much get there. It, they're, they're great pedals. They're a lot of fun. They're really versatile. Um, I've used them on my board before. They're really great to have down here in our studio because we mm -hmm. can just grab something that's not on the shelf, like it's in here. <laughs> Looks like putting four pedals in front of you and then. Right. Hence four and one. Right. So I like it. Yeah. Uh, my fun, uh, fuzz, is a, fuzz is a thing. We're not, I would say we're not fuzz guys per se, but there's, there's part of me that wants to be a fuzz guy. Uh, the thing I liked about this on the big muff setting that I spent most of my time on was it was just super easy. And a lot of times, <clears throat> My understanding of it is like with a fuzz, just crank the fuzz all the way up, right? You know, and then bring, mm -hmm. but you don't have to do this on, do that on here to get good sounds. Right. In fact, some of the times when I rolled the fuzz down a little bit and cranked the volume up, I was like, man, I really like that sound. So there's a lot of usable tones in there. Um, so like Pat said, I think having not just this one, but access to all of them, um, I've really having them around, have enjoyed them. Uh, they all sound great. Uh, and we've used them a lot. Um, so these are like, I don't want to say Swiss Army knife pedals, <laughs> but, you know, that series, there's a lot of really good stuff in there. Uh, and this one might be one of my favorite. <laughs> Just because it's so different than what I, right. it's so different than the other stuff that I use. It might be one of my favorite because it can, you can just really get a, it's a, it's a sound thing. Uh, anything else? Nope. Love to have them. Glad, glad we have them. So shout out to Keeley for sending those over. Uh, Zounds is such a big supporter of the channel. Uh, they did not send these over, but I know they carry them. So right. we will put affiliate links down there. Uh, we do because they send so much over, like they sent over that Yamaha guitar that Pat used. Um, since they send so much over, it's kind of nice to push people back to them because uh, you support the community so much. So with that, Thanks for taking the time to watch, clicking the notification bell, clicking the subscribe button, leaving comments. Anytime you interact with us, that's what helps us interact with cool people like Gilly Electronics and, uh, you know, sounds. And so with that. I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard, reminding no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. Mm -hmm.